Oh my goodness, would you look at the top? Have you ever said that when you are having such a great time and you're really into something um, interesting and unfortunately you suddenly realize you're late for something else? You really wish you could just stay and continue the conversation you're in, um, but sometimes you really just have to go and pick it up again later. Yeah. Hi, I'm Amy with Dragon's Fit Apothecary, and today on the video log, I'm talking about these incredible times when we lose our sense of time and what it does for our health and well-being. I really love those times when I get to connect with someone and we are so engrossed in our conversation that it seems like it's only been 30 minutes but it's been more like three hours. <laughs> I love that. There's just so much more to say and I'm really into all that I'm hearing and learning, um, but one of us has a commitment to get to and so we have to stop for now. <clears throat> there are moments of connection with people we've just met or maybe we've known them for a long, long time where we can just talk for hours and it's so good for our health. We feel great afterwards, right? We feel like so we finally found someone who truly gets us. Our energy is high and we walk away from that experience with a bright smile on our face. We it is not often that we find these types of people, right? To connect with on that level. But boy, it sure feels good when we do. We lose touch with some others. Um, sometimes we meet them in passing and others unfortunately are not genuine about their intentions and they use that experience to take advantage of us. However, it happens in that moment we feel complete. There's another soul like our own in this world. So I prefer to think of these majority of the times this has happened to me as being just this incredible feeling and experience. And I've really felt connected to another person who has also found me pretty interesting to talk to as well. The best way to find people that we can have this type of connection with is of course, to talk to people. Oh, I know, that's crazy talk, right? Because well, it's 2020 and we've been living most of the year uh, sheltering in place and staying away from people and well who actually talks to strangers anymore isn't that like you know dangerous <laughs> a study done by a London firm found that Americans have 0.7 of a friend compared to those in London who report having at least three to five close friendships they concluded that because Americans are essentially friendless this explains why we also have higher numbers of depression. We demonstrate alcoholic work behaviors, sorry, workaholic behaviors, probably alcohol too. And this is one of the reasons we're overweight. Oh my gosh, how sad is this information? We're basically friendless loners stuck at work and we're self-soothing with carbs. So there's no doubt our mental and physical health suffers as a result of not having enough of these deep, intense conversations that connect us with other actual human beings. This is one of the most basic ways we are out of sync with living naturally, too. So what do we do about this? No one wants to be like this, right? Well, <clears throat> I'm going to suggest three simple ways we can get back into connection with our lives and start to reclaim our mental and physical health um, by connecting with others, okay? Listen up. Number one, we had to put down the electronics. I'm so guilty of this too. But when we are around other people, we have to stop hiding behind the little screens. Trust me, I get it. this will feel awkward at first, but it will be okay. Start with the basic question about how was your day? If you need a conversation opener, right? It's okay to go there. But we need to start connecting and reconnecting with those that are around us every day, electronic free. 
Now, there's one exception to this, and I want to make mention of it. Since we are living in a unique time in our lives where we need to kind of stay away from people, I recommend calling them. Not texting or sending a cutesy little gif, but actually calling to hear their voice. Better yet, use one of those apps that allows you to speak face-to-face -face over technology. Schedule a virtual dinner or a virtual happy hour with someone and reconnect in conversation. Next, I think this is equally hard and awkward, but take a chance and look people in their eyes. The surest way to connect with someone is to look them in the eye. It creates a feeling of equal between you and it lets you see their feelings often before they even say anything. This is uh, your opener to go deeper and connect with them. Now, as humans, we need that physical and emotional connection to other people. That cannot happen if we are not touching them or at the very least connecting with them emotionally through eye and face expressions and connection. A great example of this is something many of us have experienced this year with the increased um, number of people working at home and you're on a bunch of conference calls every day. We don't see people's faces, right? So sometimes we can say things that can be taken the wrong way or sound harsher than maybe we intended. And often we are, when we're face to face, looking at them directly, our words are softer and we are more aware of our own and their feelings. So having that physical visualization helps us connect more easily as well as have a degree of concern that we are talking to a real person, right? And we become more curious and find ways to continue the conversation versus just trying to hurry up and get off the phone. Lastly, let your guard down. There are going to be times in life we get hurt by other people. There's just some shady folks out there. But we cannot form the type of connections that lead to these incredible relationships if we don't open ourselves up to them first. When we are open to the possibility of making friends with new people or expanding a friendship that we already have to a deeper enriching level, we create more room for these incredible conversations that lead us to that experience of losing time. And because we're feeding our spirit these really healthy diet of connections, right? We reclaim our human connection to each other. And we not only improve the relationship, but we improve our mental and physical well-being um, and we grow personally. We built that support system around us and can feel safe letting who we really are out into the world so we can create the life we really want to have. That, my friends, is a great way to start living more naturally, too. All it takes is talking. If you want more ideas on how, what that looks like um, to live more naturally, come on over to my website, dragonsfitapothecary.com. You'll find my blog there as well as great support to helping you live more naturally on your journey. Until next time, friends, live well naturally.